tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. So, today is episode 27 po and season 3 of our uh, of our program. And actually nga, di ba, napag-usapan natin, Farts, eh? Because of some of our ano, community's feedback to us. Na, uh, oh, yeah, of, of course, Day Pound is an alternative music program after all. Pero there are so many so many entities or groups that are involved in the alternative music scene. So like, uh, may mga partners, may mga uh, providers ng equipment, may mga apparel, may mga electronic tools, mga ganon. So, parang sinabi nga nila, why don't you guys ano, give us a little bit of, you know, feature naman us, kasi we are still part of the alternative music uh, community. community. Yeah. Oh, kaya, oh. dyan, ma- uh, starting next uh, next episode, uh, episode 28 natin, magkakaroon tayo ng konting palabok or pagkakaiba ngayon sa season 3. We will now yeah. start putting a talk show, a little bit of a talk show part on our episodes in between the guestings and we will feature of course our partners and supporters for uh, in Nepal who are not just artists themselves what is the story behind the song for Um hi Charlie thank you for having us first of all oh. um, purple was written wow back in I think 96 when we were still in the college days the Ateneo dorm and then uh, I think I wrote that because my, my experience in terms of courtship was parallel to you know a friend of mine who was was head over heels over for, for this girl but then comes along this other guy who's you know um, I don't know uh, for, for, for a strange reason uh, the, the the girls we like just uh, fell for another guy and then uh, yeah so it's about relationships about courtship about casual sex even you know uh, and then yeah I guess uh, comes the realization that uh, you can't force yourself to someone in a relationship so yeah well actually you know how did the rubber duckies uh, music career started way back 95 uh, hello good afternoon everyone uh, as for the history of the band uh, actually I had a band back in high school and then uh, of course I had to bring my guitar to the door and came to pitch. and because I had the guitar then tempre dorm mates would ask oh uh, tug tug pala yes and then roommate kami ng basis si and then katabi namin room si sila uh, Max so I think it's Max who instigated everything and let's form a band and during that time really um, at that at that time I, I can still remember na talaga the focus was on the covers syempre uh, uh, that was first year college and then it, uh, it was Max who had uh, a notebook full of poems and lyrics and then he, I remember he asked me uh, let's make a song out of this and of course syempre, for me as the guitarist uh, my mga influences uh, super simple simple arrangements lang naman. but it felt uh, uh, cool and feeling accomplished as a musician taking it to the next level that you make your own so that's how it started first year uh, first year college first year kami, that's 95. Yun. Ano ang pinakamaganda kanta na nagawa ng rubber duck? Okay, let's start with the uh, Pao. Ako talaga nga, Rod. Tari mo na, nakalimutan ko. I'm uh, reading in the script. Hindi ko nakita yung script. Medyo lang ako doon. Go! Go, Rod! Okay, sige. Ah, Rod. Ah, Rod. Muna. Easy pa si Pao eh. Mukha hindi... hindi. Ako, no particular song. Sa akin, I like all our songs. <laughs> oh, Wala no particular. Safe, safe, safe answer. Safe <laughs> <laughs> answer. Uh, well, yeah. uh, I'll answer. Uh, uh, basically, I I make the film because I start the 
melody so medyo babies ko sila lahat so um if i ha- compared to my other band high school na we collaborate on the melody uh baga, I, here in Robert Duffy's I start with the melody and syempre malapit sa akin puso lahat because nanggaling sa akin yung melody or the riff but if to wala lang out of the blue right now I like them all but for now ah, for now I always had fun time with Purple uh, the first song featured because uh yung mismo intro the intro it bobs with head bang yung I can jump on that song parang may beat siya or art beat na and then yun that's why I chose that for now but uh, lahat uh, I still put that on my playlist the song of Double Duckies every now and then I get goosebumps or oh, okay 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 but you know syempre <laughs> galing galing <laughs> sa akin <laughs> <laughs> so purple, okay. Then, purple, next. yeah. Um, for me, I guess same then. Uh, they're, parang they all have lived their lives as songs. But parang may may special spot for me. Yung first song that we ever wrote as a band. Parang kasi siya yung nag. Uh, it's a ballad, but it's not released, so some, something to look forward to. Uh, it's called False Alarm. Uh, I wish we never stopped. We never took a long hiatus. Sighing, I wish we just kept on performing, kept on writing. But I had to go to med school, I had to study. Uh, even before, I knew that my friends were going to go I was in internship, clerkship. All the while, inisip ko sana nandun ako. I wish we're performing, recording, writing songs. Pero nandito ako na sa hospital. So, yun ang biggest regret ko. I wish we never stop. So, proudly pa ka sa hospital. Naka na si Harold, naka headphones. Habang nag-opera, may headphones ng ganun. Oh. <laughs> Ayaw ko magpa-surgery sa iyo, Rol. Hindi naman ako surgery. Hindi naman ako surgery. May naalala ako. Ayaw ko. Napanood mo yung Dr. Strange. <laughs> Nag-oopera siya, may music, di ba? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, pwede mong gawin yun, Rol. <laughs> no. So, how about you, Paolo? Any regrets or missed opportunities that you remember? Well, specific yung sa akin because we're talking about the hiatus. Uh, even Harold went to med school, we had uh, other bands. Eh. Sila Boo and sila Tatot. Uh, we continued playing, but my request was among uh, circa 2002 or 2001, circa 2002. The band was really aiming for a record deal, and ayun nga uh, priorities change, and we had to stop. Yun lang. Uh, I, I really thought that we're, we're in the verge of getting into something. We're all in Manila, so syempre, compared now na we're in the provinces and Manila is the center of the music industry. Uh, at that time, I, I just felt in an in a, in alternate universe na we could have made that. We stick lang kami. We stick lang kami a little longer. And then, and you know, establishing the right connections. Wala namang problema yun. Kasi logistics-wise, it was doable at that time. Okay. How about you, Max? Um, yeah, I agree with Pao about the, that fork in, um, in the road. Uh, we, we had that opportunity to, when we were recording the third prong, I think it was the um, engineer, Noel, uh, Bracken, who said, na, you know, um, we can pitch this to, to a major label. And uh, yeah, um, we, we took the hiatus. Yeah, and then just you know, uh, life caught up. So, yun. Could have been. It's, a, it's an alternate reality altogether. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on V81 Radio, Manila.